All right, Tularinos. I happen to be filming this on New Year's Day. This is a box of stuff I got at a, an estate sale, and uh, it's just been sitting waiting for me to film it. So let's do it. I got a lot of uh, chemicals at this place, and they just gave me all the chemical stuff. I think they charged me a dollar for the Coleman fuel, but uh, you know, spirits. Brand new can of Rustoleum. Half full can of Rustoleum, white. High heat. I think it's brand new. Hammered look Rustoleum. Well, only maybe a, a third of a can or half a can. W. Alexander. Magic Art Supplies, Odorless Thinner. Ooh, Bob Ross approved. Here's another full can of the same brown Rustoleum paint. Here is what feels like a completely full can of polycrylic. So that could come in handy. Uh, Minwax, still liquid, uh, maybe only a quarter can, but it goes pretty far. Here's the can of Coleman fuel. It too feels 100% full, doesn't feel like there's much space in it. So, uh, gasoline camping appliances. Have to be careful with this. Another Minwax wood finish, fruit wood. Rust Oleum Regal Red Gloss. Feels pretty full. Old can of Rust Oleum, leather brown. All right, on to the tools. I got one of these little basin wrenches. I uh, hadn't seen one with this extra little latch. And says Andre Wrench with a patent number. One of these uh, inexpensive uh, camping knives. Looks like it's clean upable. A pair of stainless steel surgical type scissors. They seem very well made. So those were a buck. Found another one of these paint can tools. So that's cool. Got one of these flat bar pry bars. And uh, let's see here. Oops. It's a craftsman, made in USA. I got what I imagine is a meat tenderizer. What that was doing in their basement shop, I have no idea, but it looked cool. So I brought it home. I found an NOS Triumph brand. Uh, a little bench vise. Swivel base. Made in Taiwan. So, you know, probably an early Harbor Freight or something similar. But it's brand new in box, still has a plastic on it. And the star of the show... Oh, ...is a nice little bench vise. What does that say? Three and a half inch triple duty with a patent number. So we'll look up the patent. I like the styling on the side. Still has some kind of sticker on the front. And over here, it's a Wilton. Schiller Park, Illinois, USA. So, it's got replaceable jaws. Appears to be in pretty good shape. Nothing broken. And uh, I actually removed this from the workbench in the basement. 
The lady said everything had to go, but this was still attached to the workbench. Uh, so I said, well, what about that vice? Can I take it? She goes, well, it's attached to the workbench. How are you going to get it off? And I said, uh, we're surrounded by tools. You know, there was a lot of other tools there, but nothing really old or cool. So I just uh, unbolted it and took it with me. And for all this stuff that you see here, the vices and the tools and all the uh, fluids and stuff, I paid $8. So pretty good haul for 8 bucks, I think. Um, let me know if you'd like to see this vice in person, you know. I always hate to open NOS things, but um, it not being anything super special. I don't know, I guess we could open that in a future video. So, Toolerinos, I uh, have a little update for this uh, Wilton vice. I was doing the, the research on it to make the video, so I looked up the patent. And the patent was a little bit confusing just to look at the image. So. I had uh, I read through most of the, the text of the patent, and I came to realize it's not just a regular vice, it's a speed vice, which is super cool. It's my first speed vice. So <clears throat> if you just rotate the, the handle at least half a turn counterclockwise, it disengages, and you can pull the throat all the way out, position it wherever you need it to be after you put a piece in there or something, and then after you get it where you want it, then you can start cranking, and it engages and closes up. Good and tight. So, how about that? Patent applied for uh, August 27th, 1945. That's just a few days before World War II officially ended. And then uh, patent granted in uh, 1947. So... Uh, if you figure uh, roughly it's a 1950 vice, then this is a roughly 70 year old vice. And it still works perfectly, and it's really cool. So, looking forward to fixing this one up. It has all this uh, raised lettering that uh, will look real nice, you know, highlighted. So, huzzah! It's a real gem. I, I thought it was a gem before, but now it's really a gem. All right, here's a little shop update for uh, my son's shop. As you can see, we got the pegboard put up. He wanted the, the side that said garage sale on there. Um, we should probably mark it uh, in the bottom corner or something that says 2021, just as a reminder. And uh, we also built this nice shelf. It's uh, 17 inches deep. It's just a piece of uh, OSB that I had left over from another project. But um, we just used scrap pieces of... Uh, 2x4 and whatnot we had lying around and it's a fine shelf and you can see he's already put his chainsaws and some RC trucks and things up there uh, we plan to add another LED light on the bottom of the shelf so that it illuminates uh, the workbench you know really well and uh, I did add a second light in here so we have uh, two overhead lights now so there's much more light in here now. The whole shop is <clears throat> reasonably well lit. And uh, progress is being made. Sheba. Who's a good shop kitty? Who's a good shop kitty? It's you, isn't it? Yeah, I know. This is Sheba. She likes to be in the shop with us. A little too much. <laughs> All right. Uh... Just a little lathe update. This was my hopefully first useful thing I did. I was just kind of uh, making chips the other day. Honestly, it was just kind of stress relief for the holidays. And uh, just seeing what I could do. And after I went that far, I thought, you know, it'd be nice if I could actually make something useful of this. And I remembered I had this uh, rotten shovel handle uh, future project. And I thought, I wonder if that'll do. And uh, I think I went uh, just far enough that I could make use of that and uh, use it to replace this part of the handle. So, huzzah! We'll see how well that goes.